Hey, welcome to Friday's edition of Udale and MMT. I do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Udale and MMT. If you want to um, kind of listen to the rest of the textbook MMT uh, series I had started on YouTube, then, trans then transferred it to uh, my Patreon. Uh, donate a dollar if you'd like. Um, anyway. I noticed that a lot of a lot of stuff involving consumer consumerism is more about packaging and not about or you know marketing and not about quantity or quality. I mean, I look at the I look at the same thing as far as the financial industry because from what I could see and from what I've read and I point and I I talk about in in my textbook MMT my Patreon. Um, Every economic theory has its goods and bads, but majority of the time they are they are they are, they are found out not to be accurate. Um, there's at least one that can I think it might, might be Say's law. I'm not sure, but it basically states that there, as long as I'm just trying to get this right. The economic balance is. If a person has a job, they'll be able to sustain themselves. Not not taking account of the prices, not taking account of the hours, the the wage stuff like that. So I mean, we haven't actually gone to this point yet of people really understanding what. Uh, real economics versus what we're told on on TV, internet, whatever else. Not enough people who are living those types of lives have a way of showing or have a way of communicating to the rest of the world what their lives are like in that regard. Now, MMT does back a couple of policies. Uh, MMT itself is not a policy. It's a window of opportunity, if you will, a, a window of looking at looking at how the economy actually works and tells you, I mean, points out the parts of the economy that I had not fake for 50 plus years. Um, and it, it shows you that if we had things like universal health care, which used to be known as Medicare for all, if everybody had uh, a had the single payer healthcare system, then nobody would be going going bankrupt. Uh, it would all be paid for. It would be taking insurance companies out of the uh, process. There, the job guarantee would kind of help that process as well because it. Um, there are two forms of this. Uh, I think Bill Mitchell has a form of. Whatever community, whatever community work you're doing that voluntarily, you could be you could be uh, you could be paid it could be paid for, you know. In other words, you could be, you could be pay, uh, paid for doing it. Uh, but there's also the Warren Mosler um, pro cyclical version of that. Um, uh, you it, it would be a program based on the government funding uh, until the private sector gets back on its feet and is able to. You know, hire more. So it's more of a it's more of the economic stabilizer instead of the job guarantee so, sort of thing. Um, let's see those two things. Uh, Green New Deal. Another thing that could be helped within uh, the job guarantee as well. Uh, put some training into it, and and allow people to be trained on how to handle. Wind turbines work on them, maintain them. Same thing with solar panels, man manufacturing, working those and stuff of that nature. Because, I mean, all this, I mean, all that would be deflationary, uh, would be set at a market rate, which means you more likely you'd be get paid more for doing that than you would on any other you know type of job you had, which also gives you, I would suspect, uh, more job skills. So allowing you to be competitive within the employment uh, sector. Um, now you see the people in power now they don't they don't want that because 
a lot of them are paid by the, you know, the, the industries that MMT backs have re, re you know reforming, if you will. Um, so a lot of that, a lot of what they like is packaged to you know uh, a very easy consume uh, consumption by the general public. So there's a lot of fakeness involved in that with monetary theory. That we show you what we're talking about. We prove what we're talking about, and we point out in the uh, the uh, economics where our stuff is pulling through, where our stuff is making things correct and stuff of that nature. Whereas in the modern uh, economists, our speculation, you know, they're they're driven by they're driven by speculating. Um, stuff like that. So and that's why I'm such a believer in modern monetary theory because everything I have, I have researched about it, everything I have heard about, it, I see on a daily basis as I'm looking at different, you know, housing inventories, uh, employment, uh, wage and rural wages, stuff like that. Everything that MMT has taught me so thus far, I've sold very much a student at it, but everything that has taught me so far has been accurate way more accurate than the paul krugman's the larry summers um those kind of people um in fact i i, I do think that larry summers it should be jailed because he fought to the nail to make the derivatives uh deregulated that allowed for big banks to uh bet no matter what direction the housing market was going, was to bet which which ones, which mortgages would go down, which which mortgages would go underwater, stuff like that. That I think actually created the uh, GFC uh, two thousand seven all the way up to twenty twelve. So I don't think he should be. Able, I think that his degree in, in econ and uh, economics should be revoked. And yeah. I think you know Bill Clinton came out a few like maybe a few years after the whole thing and stated that he thought he thinks that they were that him and I forget who else but uh, another person was wrong about derivatives and that he was wrong to follow their direction on that. I mean, yeah, he he pretty much pulled them under the bus because I don't think I I I don't think that he should be impeached based on any kind of sexual bullshit, but based on that. I mean, either way, unless we get someone who knows about MMT or uh, is MMT uh, connected, um, nothing's going to happen in regards to policies. And, you know, everybody's either a lawyer or some kind of natural politician or a team from politicians or whatever the fuck the case may be. Nothing's going nothing's to change unless everybody who is listening to my voice starts learning, understanding, and teaching monetary theory, will anything change? So, anyways, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, I never listen to a gold bug because they have a hidden agenda. Never listen to Paul Krugman. Never listen to Larry Summers. Never listen to anybody that has made money based on speculation, money based on lecturing the banks, who's money who's been making money based on screwing your life over for the better for the betterment of their life. The government is supposed to be there to help us, not us help them. So go to realprogressives.org. Go to uh, look up Mike Norman on YouTube as well. Pitbull, Econ Pitbull Economics, even though that website doesn't really work all that many times, but it may work, who knows. Uh, I've had trouble with this one recently, but uh, MoserEconomics.com, I believe. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, donate to realprogressives.org. Um, I'll put the link below, but... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over some. Anyways, 
Have a good weekend. Um, macaroni and cheese tomorrow morning. 8 a.m. Eastern. Uh, Steve Grumbine, macaroni and cheese. We're progressive.org. Peace out for now.